In addition to providing an environment for creating sermon or lesson manuscripts, the sermon editor also provides rich capabilities for producing slides to show or delivering your sermon or lesson. As you saw in the previous video, creating headings automatically creates slides. And we can see the entire set of slides in the slides view. Click all to go back to the sermon document. The white letters on black template is the default, but to change this, click the top slide and select edit. This opens the media tool with the top slide loaded. Clicking find media shows a range of alternate slides. Scroll down until you find a background you want to use and click it. This updates the slide in the tool and clicking on update sermon will apply this to the slide in the sermon editor. You can now apply this to all slides. Again, click the top slide, but this time select apply this style to all slides. All the slides are now updated and new ones will be created with this background. The sermon editor provides various ways of creating new slides. You can select a portion of text and click the Add Slides from Selected Text button in the pop-up menu. You can create slides with lists by doing the same thing with an existing list. You can make slides from existing Bible references in the sermon document, such as John 7.38, by selecting the block of text containing it and clicking Add Slides from Selected References. By default, the slide is rendered in your preferred Bible. To change this, click the translation and choose another one. Or you can simply add a new reference. For example, to demonstrate the significance of the word stood as the first verb in the passage in John 7, 37-39, create a blank line after the first paragraph. Enter John 7, 37 and press Enter. You can even import slides from other tools within Logos, such as Factbook. Look back at the Factbook entry for Thirst, and you will see a number of media items. Position your cursor at the beginning of the first paragraph in the sermon document. Right-click the image showing the illustrated version of verses 37 to 38, and select the option of sending it to the sermon. Logos will add that piece of media right into the sermon document. These powerful and flexible ways for creating and manipulating slides can really enhance the presentation of your sermon or Bible study lesson. In a later video, we'll look at different export options. But in the next video, we'll look at two additional and handy features of the sermon editor, those related to handouts and questions.